Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be talking about what CVIC nurses do and why I left my job in the regular medical surgical ICU that I worked in before. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into it. So I absolutely loved the ICU that I worked in. It was the first job I got out of nursing school. I went right into the um, regular ICU. And it was a smaller hospital, um, literally only like three floors to the hospital. And my ICU family was really close knit. Everyone was super helpful. I felt like I got the best first nursing job experience. So after like a little over a year, um, my husband and I decided that we wanted to get a house with some more land. So we ended up moving and the other hospital was a good like half an hour, 40 minutes away. And I just don't like to travel that much to work especially after, you know, when you're working 12 hour shifts, you work like three in a row by the third day. I just didn't think it was the safest thing for me to be making that trip. Some people can do it and that's awesome, but it just wasn't, wasn't for me. So I was really, really sad that I was gonna leave my ICU um, because I just didn't want to, like I, I loved it there. But I was, I was kind of interested in going to a CVICU because um, I had a few people tell me that it would be a really good experience considering that I wanted to become a CRNA eventually. So I was like, okay, this could be a possibility because the hospital that's now closest to me um, has a CVICU, whereas my other hospital didn't even have one. So I applied um, probably like a month before we even were going to move and like uh, the next day I got a call for an interview and I went to my interview and got hired. So I was super excited, but also super nervous and bummed because I went from being somewhere where I felt really confident and um, really cohesive with my team to like, okay, I'm gonna be like <laughs> the bottom of the totem pole again. I'm gonna be, you know, trying to learn all these new things. And it, it actually made me laugh because I make these videos trying to help you know, new nurses and people are new to the ICU and now I'm back in that position. So it's kind of like, I have to take my own advice, which is hard to do sometimes. But yeah, so I just finished my orientation and now that um, I'm about to start on my own this Monday, I thought I would talk about what CVICU nurses actually do. Cause I had a general idea of what they did, um, but it's, it's a little bit different than what I thought. So you still have like, your vented patients, you still will have like neuro patients, you still have like all the stuff that you would see in a regular ICU, but it's more cardiac centered and you're gonna get more like CV stuff. So one of the biggest differences is that you work really closely with the cardiovascular surgeons in the anesthesia team. So if you're getting like a post-op open heart surgery patient, like a post-op cabbage, um, at my hospital anyway, I get report from the, um, circulating RN in the OR, and then I also get report from the CRNA directly or the anesthesiologist directly about what happened during the case. So that was interesting, getting used to um, interacting with these people more. I felt like I have already learned so much from them and now I know kind of what questions to ask, but it was really intimidating at first because they're like spouting all this information off at you and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so that was one of the biggest things um, that was different was I've had some interaction with surgeons um, over in the other ICU, but not nearly as much as I do with the CVICU. So another thing that's different about CVICU is that you are basically the PACU for these patients. They don't stop between the OR and your room. They come directly to you. So you are doing direct post-op care. So that's kind of weaning them off ventilators if you need to. It's making sure their pain is managed, doing vitals every 15 minutes you know, checking all these things that they would have done in a PACU. And I know, some, so I know sometimes in regular ICU, you will get patients, you know, straight from the OR, um, but I didn't get any like open heart patients, stuff like that. So it was a little bit different. Another thing that happens in my CVICU is if the patient is on a balloon pump, then you go back into the OR if they're having a cabbage and you have to stop the balloon pump when the surgeon tells you to, start it when they tell you to. You're basically part of the OR team, which was really cool. I love OR, I have such a passion for being in the operating room. And I got to see like the vein harvest. If you've ever, if, if you're into surgery, it's just you just have to see a cabbage. It is so cool watching. I got to see like an open vein harvest and it's just so different than anything I would have imagined. 
but it was so cool. So that is something that I really like about CBIC was that sometimes they do get to go into the OR and be a part of that. Being part of the CBICU team doesn't always mean you're dealing with surgical patients. Um, you could do like code cool, um, like the induced therapeutic hypothermia. You could do um, balloon pumps, Impella, ECMO, um, what else? You could be doing like CRRT. So there's a variety of patient types that you can have that aren't always post-surgical or post-cath patients. Another thing that I saw like a little bit of when I was in the medical surgical ICU, but I'm doing a lot more of now is pulling sheets. So when you pull a sheet, like, like I had a patient the other day that came out with, they had one sheath in their um, right IJ and then they had bilateral groin sheets. One of the groins had two sheets in it. So they had a total of four sheets that I had to pull. So I had somebody helping me. Um, but when you pull a sheath, you have to hold pressure for a really long time. Um, so what I like to get in the habit of doing is either ask the patient if they want me to put a movie on or a TV show on because I'm going to be holding pressure for a minute so we got to get comfortable um, or you come up with just fun things to talk about. So some of my favorite things to talk about with my patients after I've pulled a sheet is I like to ask them what they do for fun when they're not in the hospital. I like to ask them, you know, what their favorite book or movie is. Um, favorite vacation spot. I love to hear about people's like traveling. Because people have seen cool stuff in the world and I want to hear about it. You can ask them what their like worst fear is. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just come up with things to talk to your patient about and like really get comfortable because it's kind of intimate. Sometimes you're sitting there with your hand in their groin for like 45 minutes, but you got to do it. So um, just try and make it as least uncomfortable for them as possible. Don't make it awkward. Um, just be really personable, I found is really helpful. In the CBICU, you will get very comfortable with taking care of chest tubes. Like you'll have patients that come out with four chest tubes, three chest tubes, two chest tubes. Um, very rarely do I have a day where I'm not handling chest tubes. And you have to monitor really closely chest tube output. So marking it every hour, um, keeping a close eye on it, super important. Another thing that I didn't do a ton of in my other hospital is ambulating patients because I would have a lot of just ventilator patients or um, patients that were on strict bed rest. Whereas in the CVICU, a lot of my patients that are post-op, they want, uh, the surgeons want them ambulating. So you'll take your patients on like two, three, four walks a day sometimes. So um, a lot of ambulation in the CVICU. I did this in the other one too, in the other ICU, but monitoring for arrhythmias and um, electrolytes is super important because the heart is already gonna be excited if um, a surgeon or a cardiologist was in there manipulating something in there. Um, so being very vigilant of seeing um, arrhythmias and then what to do, how to treat them, um, what the surgeon or what the doctor wants you to do if something happens. Really just like knowing the doctors and surgeons too is big because I feel like all of them like things a certain way, they all like things a little bit different. Um, so you wanna kinda get to know your surgeons and your doctors is what I've found is different in the CVCU. Um, they're all very particular and these patients are very, um, not that not that all patients aren't like special to their doctors, but you, see, you can kind of see it more that they're really protective of their patients and they want things done a certain way, which I really admire. And finally, another thing that I see in the CVICU that's a bit different is the amount of dressing changes and education that I'm doing. Um, so educating patients on like not being able to use their arms to push, pull, tug, anything like that after cabbage because they could obviously um, offset the sternum and that would be very bad. So educating patients and dealing with like pain control is huge, post-op. Um, yeah, so those are the things that I have found are different um, in the CBICU, things that CBICU nurses do that may be a little bit different than um, a regular medical surgical ICU. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned a little bit um, if you're maybe interested in becoming a CBICU nurse. Um, so far, I really like it, but like I said, I'm about to start on my own, so wish me luck, um, and <laughs> hope you guys have a great week. I hope you're having a great new year, and I'll talk to you soon.